Greetings, and thank you for joining us for another SANS ICS Concept Overview. I'm Don C. Weber of Cutaway Security and a certified SANS instructor. In this Concept Overview, we will be discussing the MITRE Attack Matrix website and the Attack Navigator website. We will be walking through both tools to give a quick overview for yourself and your team. If you enjoy this video and the topics we cover in the SANS ICS Concept Overviews, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment if you have a question about this topic or suggestions for future content. In this SANS ICS concept overview, we are going to take a look at the MITRE ATT&CK matrix. We're going, to ta we're going to use the MITRE ATT&CK website to kind of review some of the uh, ATT&CK matrix. And then we're also going to take a look at the ATT&CK navigator and determine how our teams can use this. So if you're not familiar with this tool, uh, MITRE has a website that has an ATT&CK matrix. Uh, I've got it up on the uh, in my browser right now. As you can see it, I've zoomed in a little bit, so hopefully it'll be a little bit easier for you to see. And as I scroll down, we see that MITRE has an ATT&CK matrix for the enterprise. And what this does is this lists out the different techniques that threat actors will use to uh, to do whatever they need to do within your environment. They ultimately, they have some type of goal. Uh, they might be uh, gathering information so that they can understand what their goal is going to need to be, or they might have a specific goal when they come in. But these different techniques talk about uh, what they'll do for reconnaissance and the different methods that they will uh, do for that. And understanding these techniques under, uh, helps your team understand how to prevent uh, detect and respond uh, to these type of threat actor activities. So we see response, uh, resource development, initial access, uh, all the way down to discovery. And uh, and you can go over, you, you can view this. Uh, the links for both the attack matrix and uh, uh, for the navigator uh, will be in the show notes. So you just go down. Now, but in, in a lot of people are used to uh, looking at the attack matrix uh, and uh, from an enterprise standpoint, meaning that uh, your corporate environments are used to leveraging this. Uh, your tools often reference uh, these types of techniques. Uh, you might be able to pull some uh, chained events, uh, as we'll see in just a second. You'll be able to pull some of the chained events uh, into a uh, to one of your security tools to help with uh, aid with prevention and detection, and also adversary emulation. Okay, uh, what, however, if what a lot of people don't understand is while they're used to this from a corporate side, from an enterprise side, this uh, the attack matrix has uh, different matrices. Okay, and what that means is if you look on the left hand sidebar here, we see the enterprise, which just kind of populated with all of their uh, different um, uh, subcategories associated with the matrices uh, for the enterprise environment. So you can click on Windows and the matrices will update slightly, being modified uh, associated with Windows operating systems and so forth. But what a lot of people don't realize is there's other matrices as well. We've got our mobile matrices. Uh, that we can see here uh, for Android and iOS, but then we have an industrial control systems or ICS matrices, which is slightly different. The reason why this is important is because threat actors going after your control environments, uh, they leverage this two-stage attack, meaning they attack the enterprise, uh, gain access uh, and do persistence within there uh, while they're in your uh, enterprise environment, uh, they'll be gathering information, doing reconnaissance, gathering uh, credentials, uh, identifying ways uh, to gain access to your control environment. Those credentials will help facilitate that both through your corporate environment or through your remote access. But once they're in your control environment, uh, what are they gonna do? What are the, gonna be the techniques that they use? And you can see here in the ICS matrix, you can see that there are uh, many different uh, uh, techniques uh, for, oops, I went down a little bit further than I wanted. So we have uh, initial access, execution, all the way to impact on the right-hand side. And you'll see that a little bit better in just a second. As I said, I've got this zoomed in uh, so that it's a little bit easier to see on the screen. When you go to this you'll sell, yourself, you'll get a better view. Okay, The attack navigator, 
if I, I click on this other tab, we see it open up. If you go directly to the website, you'll get the default page that you're seeing right here. Okay, uh, it's, um, you know, in order to use this, what we need to do is we need to create a layer. Uh, we can check our, enter uh, we can uh, add an enterprise layer if we wanted to, uh, and we can do that. I can click on enterprise and it will populate a default uh, attack matrix for your enterprise environment. I can also open up another tab, create a second tab, create a new layer and select the ICS. And now we can see the representation of the ICS attack matrix going from initial access all the way over to impact on the right hand side. Uh, while you're in this, I mean, you could uh, you can go to the MITRE website and look at uh, um, uh, everything directly through there. And we'll go back to that in just a second. Uh, but also for each one of these uh, techniques, uh, you can right click on it and you can go to view technique in the drop down menu that is uh, displayed. And that'll take you to the part of the website where you can uh, get an understanding of what that technique is uh, and uh, get a better description. Also, uh, as you can see, not only do we have the description of what in this case, exploitation of remote services is, uh, we can see that um, you know some of the additional information about it, uh, meaning they've got a list of uh, procedure examples. In this case, it lists all of the different types of uh, known software uh, that uh, leverages this technique. So Bad Rabbit, NotPetya, Stuxnet, all had uh, a relationship with some type of uh, exploitation of remote services. And you can click on those. What I'll do is I'll click on, you know, let's pick Stuxnet. Let's pick Stuxnet. We'll open that up into a new tab. And now we can see a description of the software uh, the uh, for Stuxnet. Uh, when we go on here, we can see that Stuxnet actually had different um, uh, techniques that were associated with the enterprise environment and the control environment. So we can see all of these listed here. Uh, these are all the techniques that were uh, associated with the enterprise environment. If we scroll all the way down, now we see the techniques that are associated with the control environment. Okay. Uh, now we, we selected that. What I want to do is I want to do a further example. I want to go ahead. Let's use the example of uh, in Destroyer uh, for the Navigator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll up to the eyes, okay, and we're going to find the in Destroyer software, okay, in Destroyer right here. Uh, this will populate. We can see the description uh, of what it is. Uh, it's also known as Crash Override. Uh, techniques used uh, as I described before. But look over on the right hand side. When we see the techniques used, we see the attack navigator layers. Now, if you click on that button, you're going to get this drop down. Uh, it says enterprise layer. You can download this information, but we can also go to view. Okay, the view in this case is going to pop up the enterprise layer. Uh, hopefully, they'll update the site soon so that we can pop up uh, the ICS layer, but we'll see that. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So I'm going to click on view and we should get a new tab, which we do. And this is going to take us to the attack navigator and it's going to populate. Uh, it's going to create a layer that's specifically designed for the in destroyer software. And as we can see here, we've got information about it. We can come over to our layer controls. Uh, and if we get the layer information, we can click on our layer controls. Uh, we can see in destroyer. Uh, we can see the reference to the software number. The description is enterprise techniques used by in destroyer and so forth. Uh, and so we'll get back to the layer controls in just a second. Down here in our techniques, we can see the in destroyer is associated with valid accounts. Uh, compromised uh, a client software. If we hover over that, we'll get a better description uh, links that uh, we can go to for that. Okay. And if we scroll over, we can see that uh, the overall impacts uh, are associated with data destruction and application of system application or system exploitation. All right. But that's so that's within our enterprise environment. Okay. But w for this, you know, this is a, a you know, a, uh, ICS concept videos, we want to know what the uh, ICS layer is. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the plus button. So I'm going to add a new tab and let's create a layer. Let's create an ICS layer. Okay. 
Now we get the default, uh, and uh, which is just the uh, default uh, attack matrix. We could come over back over to our end destroyer tab. Uh, you can scroll down and look at all of the ICS, and you could uh, select each one. Like so, the T0800. Uh, so if we look at that, and we come up to our search, I can just type in here T0800. Okay. And then I can, what will happen is these techniques will be populated right here. I hover over it and you can see that it changes blue. I can select that one and now it's highlighted. But there's a little bit easier way to do this, okay? So instead of searching on T800, let's deselect all real quick. Uh, let's search on end destroyer. And, uh, okay, when I search on end destroyer, I see that there is one selection in our software okay so I expand our software and I can select this and as we can see we have more that are highlighted I'm gonna go ahead and close this tab in the bottom right hand corner okay we can close that and now we can see multiple uh, um, techniques highlighted uh, after that selection while the blue outline is okay it's a little bit more difficult to see um, we can do things by going up to our control bar Okay, we can, uh, the, our technique controls, uh, we can change the background of the color, or we can change the score. So I'm gonna take the scoring, the default is zero. If we just change that to a different value, so I'll just put one in there, okay, and we'll close that. And now we can see these are all highlighted. This is a little bit easier to see. We can take a screenshot of this uh, and uh, uh, gather this information. Uh, before we take a screenshot, we probably wanna change that um, uh, the layer name, so I'll click on layer controls. Let's go ahead and change that to in destroyer S0604 ICS. So we know it's our ICS layer. You can add a description if you like, uh, and we'll just go from there. Uh, and that's pretty simple. So now you could uh, um, take, a, as I mentioned, you can take a screenshot of this. Uh, you can come to your layer controls. You can download a layer as JSON. Uh, so if you uh, um, hover over that down arrow, um, that will you'll be able to export the JSON uh, of this uh, of this configuration. Uh, you can also export to Excel if that's what your tool um, or how your organization is representing that uh, this information in your different documents. You can do that as well. Uh, but th by doing this, it makes it a lot easier to talk about uh, the things that are going on uh, um, with a, a, an attack campaign uh, within a certain industry. Uh, what I really like about this is you can use these same techniques for uh, your uh, any attack that's going on right now. So if there's something that's going on in the media and you need to give a presentation either to your team or to your leadership, uh, you can gather some quick information and look at these different techniques and highlight these yourselves using the similar techniques that we just did. Um, there's other information in there as well. Uh, let's see, we can go and add a new tab. I'm gonna add an ICS layer. And I was hoping to do some things around Altmar. I mean, one of the things that I wanted to add um, was, and I know Altmar is not related to In Destroyer. You know, this is just an example right now, but uh, Altmar. So I'm going to label this layer Altmar. Close this. Okay. What I was going through is I was going through and I was doing research on Altmar and um, uh, trying to figure out which one of these uh, techniques that I wanted to select. Uh, but then I realized the search button is pretty awesome. Uh, the MITRE team is constantly adding references. Uh, when I start typing Aldsmar, uh, we don't see uh, any specific software or threat groups that are associated with it. So there's a, a zero there. We do see some different techniques that are uh, selected though. And that's because Aldsmar is in the references uh, for their description. Okay, And so I'm just going to select each one of these. And I'm going to hit close. I'm going to go ahead and go up to our scoring and so I can highlight it a little bit better, change our score to one. And now we see that highlighted. So we understand that uh, Altmar was associated with remote services, uh, that uh, the threat actors, when they access those remote services, were provided a graphical user interface. Okay, lateral movement. There wasn't any lateral movement, but they're still associated with uh, uh, remote services. So that's how they got in. Uh, so we're still having that reference there. And then eventually they modified a parameter and we can see that here. Okay, so they did modify a parameter. 
But notice we don't have any impact on the right hand side. Okay. Uh, now, selecting impact is important. We need our organization to understand what all of this means. And so leaving out impact, um, while it can, you know, we can still have that story and then we can have the discussion about what the impact is. Uh, you know, it, it's really kind of unique to each situation, each organization that this occurred on, on what the actual impact to that environment was. Okay. And what I like about this is that you can use this to review each one of these items because we have to carefully select uh, um, the, uh, the, the proper impact. So if I'm looking through these, you know, the first thing I think about uh, um, Altsmar was uh, they modified that parameter which dumped chemicals uh, into the water and so there was a potential loss of safety. Now I could just select loss of safety. Okay, but I want to review that first. So I'm going to hover over loss of safety and I am going to view technique. So when I view technique, another tab is going to open. We can see here we have a description of loss of safety and this is associated with the, uh, uh, the, you know, the safety for the systems uh, and themselves. And not necessarily, uh, it, and I, I think most of you will agree with me that um, while the safety of the water uh, was in danger, um, the impact was a little bit different. So if you read through this, uh, I, I think you'll agree with me, um, but certainly it's open to interpretation. Going back, if we review the manipulation of control, so if I right click on that and view technique, we'll see that uh, the, the description here, um, adversaries may manipulate physical process control within the industrial environment. That did indeed happen in this case, so I would actually wanna select that. So if I hover over man manipulation of control, okay, I can add to selection. If I just select it, it's gonna deselect all the others, but in this case, I'm gonna add to selection, okay. Uh, I do wanna change the score there. Okay, and there we go. Now we can export this, we can use this image uh, um, to lead our discussions uh, with uh, our teams or with our management. So in this ICS, uh, um, uh, SANS ICS concepts video, uh, we talked about the attack, uh, MITRE attack matrix, uh, specifically associated with the enterprise environment uh, and also leveraging the uh, attack navigator to kind of give us a, build a visualization uh, of different uh, threat actor groups, software uh, groups and attacks as well. So uh, thank you very much. Thank you for tuning in to another concept overview with the SANS ICS and Cutaway Security Teams. Please let us know if there are other topics you would like us to cover in the comments below. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to like and subscribe to the SANS ICS YouTube channel. This has been Don C. Weber of Cutaway Security. Go forth and do good things.